Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test 2, question number 45. The question says, which graph best represents the equation 3x minus y is equal to negative 1.5? Now the reality is they throw the word best in there because there's two that look very similar, so you have to be sort of careful. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, graph this on a calculator. I'm not going to use intercepts method. If you'd like to use intercepts method for standard form, there's plenty of videos on it. It's really simple. Basically, you just uh, do one equation where you do 3x equals negative 1.5, and that gives you your x-intercept, then I'll do negative y is equal to negative 1.5, and that'll give me my y-intercept. I make two dots and draw a line. Very simple, but it's likely that on test day you'll get sweaty and you'll think maybe I got to use a calculator. So we're going to do it in standard form, which means I have to get y by itself. That's the key component of standard form, y being by itself. Apparently y likes to be alone. It's a very lonely variable, I suppose. So I'm going to do it's probably because it screams its own name all the time. Like, oh, why? So people just leave it alone. So what I'm going to do here is draw a line, and then I'm just going to solve an equation. I need to move that 3x. Y wants to be alone. Uh, I have a daughter, and sometimes she screams that she wants to be alone. So we have to get everybody out of the room. So we're going to move 3x. And really, wouldn't you want to get away from three of your x's? So if I have nothing in front, I need to put a plus there. So in order to move it, I, the whole thing, I'm moving the x and the 3, I need to subtract 3x. Got a little ghosting there. This is supposed to say minus 3x. Now I'm left with negative y equals. I cannot combine x's or variable terms and terms that are, don't have variables. It's like apples and oranges. I can add as many apples to a bag of oranges as I want, but I'm not going to get any more oranges that way. So since these are not like terms, I cannot combine them. So I'm just going to bring down negative 3x minus 1.5. Now from here, I'm left with a negative y, so I'm still not done. In case you don't know, that means it's uh, times negative 1. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. So it makes my final equation y is equal to 3x plus 1.5. So that's what I'm going to graph. And I'm going to uh, bring up the old calculator here. I think it's the pink version this time, totally. And for some reason it wants me to determine that it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and graph here. So d delete this out. 3x we're using the TI-84, in case you were, haven't seen any of these before. 1.5, and then I'm going to graph it. Remember earlier when they said you want the one that's the best fit? Now I can, all that stuff's in there. A and B look a lot alike, so there's a certain component that I tend to look for when I do a graph like this, and that's where it crosses the y-axis. Is it above or below the origin? Because most of the ones that are close have that distinction. And it should be, since it was positive 1.5, crossing above the origin. And as you can see here, it totally does. This is the origin down here. Um, if it's below, I need to pick the one that's below. So if it had crossed down below the origin, I would pick this one. But it didn't, so that one's out. I'm going to make sure C and D aren't likely candidates, and I don't think they are, because I'm pretty sure they have negative slopes, and these are positive slopes because it's going up left to right, just like you read. So, yep. So my answer, most likely, that crosses above the origin, has a positive slope, and looks exactly like my graph, more or less, is A. So just be careful. I think in my time, the things that I would think that you might forget is remember when you move that 3x term over, you have to change it to minus 3x on both sides. And then forgetting that step to divide by negative 1 is also important. From there, it's just making sure you pick the right graph. Don't do all that work and then pick the wrong graph because you didn't pay attention to whether it crossed the origin or not. And you just picked the one that looked like it first. If you did it there, you probably would have gotten it right if you looked at A before B. But who knows? Just be smart and meticulous. And the algebra uh, into course test really isn't all that overwhelming. So good luck.